Sorry, I just wanted a drink. Hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Woo, brunette. Woo. If you guys haven't seen already, I have taken the plunge. I have dyed my hair brown. Well, I haven't personally dyed it brown, but Lottie has dyed my hair brown and I think it's safe to say I look a hundred times better. What? Oh, can I ask a question? Go on then, what? It's still blonde. Lee seems to think that it's still blonde, but it's definitely brunette. I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10 for effort, Lottie. Absolutely love it. Comment down below if you guys prefer me blonde or brunette. As you guys can tell from the title, we are refilming asking my boyfriend questions you guys are too afraid to ask. I filmed this for, I think it was like one of my first videos on the channel and I haven't filmed it since. I thought it'd be quite interesting to see if there's any differences. I'm gonna obviously use some different questions. So kind of like just to, you know, touch base a little bit. Before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, make sure you go down below and subscribe. Also don't forget to head over and subscribe to Lee's channel if you wanna see my face a little bit more. I have a mixture of questions. So when I was watching other people do this, I saw that they did like five or six questions. What? I'm just watching you. Why? Ow! <laughs> five or six questions about them, personally, and then five or six questions like just in general. So I have like a mixture. Cool. Okay? Yeah. So, head- um. <sighs> Let's just get on sh What? <laughs> Is this round one, brother? This is round one. Ding, 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 ding. I, I know you're gonna hate this question, but I have to ask it. I don't like these Names, ones. and this isn't, this is in general, so like not about me, but you can include things about me if you want. Name your top five biggest icks. I don't have an ick, we've been through this. Icks aren't a thing to Yeah, me, but, right, okay, right. Thing. Basically, if you don't know what an ick is, an ick is similar to like a turn off, like. Everyone knows what an ick is. Yeah, it's I know, but basically, right, right. Girls that aren't your type, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, but I'm gonna say something that I don't like that you do, but it doesn't mean I don't wanna be with you. Right, well, just say what. What you don't find. That's it, what you don't find attractive about certain girls. Smoking. Okay. Not really bothered about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no offence if you do it, fair enough, but me You I'm, just don't find it attractive. Like when I've stood next to someone and they're having a quick puff, I'm like, <coughs> nearly, you know, yeah, coughing okay. my lungs up. Next. This. Messiness. You do your makeup and you don't put anything away okay. until three weeks later. Okay, that's fine. You take your clothes off, you leave them inside <laughs> out. <laughs> when you're getting ick. changed, when you're getting changed. Lee's biggest ick is when I take my clothes off. <laughs> When you get changed. But I don't put my clothes away. You don't put them away and this is not an ick, but this is this just plays my mind. Okay. You take your clothes off inside out. Okay, but that's not an ick, babe. An ick is like what what how am I trying to say this? What obnoxiousness. So like being loud and like Yeah. Ooh. I know that that's one of your icks. None of our friends do it, but I mean when you see a group of friends, there's one friend that you can just see that they think they're better than the others. All right, And okay. they're being loud and obnoxious and like, it's all about so me. So like, yeah, yeah. Like a pick me girl. That's a stupid thing as well. But that, yeah. Okay, we're up to four. Have you got any other? But I don't want to sound nasty. No, you. this is just your personal preference. It's not nasty. Should we just move on to the next question? Yeah. I feel like you, you have so many icks that you just don't know about. Because I know your icks. What's one of them? Mm. Well done. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, the next question is more of a statement. So, guys always say that personality, I think actually we covered this one in my last one. Guys always say that personality overtakes looks. Like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, look, personality over looks and thing. Is that true? Is that no. <laughs> I got both. Oh, fine. Elaborate. Because you need a bit of attractiveness there. No, first. so it's not the looks, it's you have to be attracted to them. Yeah. So it's not how you look, it's like you can't be like you can't go with someone that you're not attracted to. Yes. But because they have a personality. Yeah, and then once you're attracted to them, that's when you Oh but I'm in the pool now. But does personality have a big part to play? After, yeah. Right. Think but on first impressions though. My first impression, I'm dipping my foot in the pool. Right. It's okay. getting cold. Ooh. My body's in. 
Oh, it's, you know when you get up to your belly and you go, oh. So firstly. So now it. I'm in the pool and I'm cold. That's my first impression. Now I need to warm up so your personality comes out. Oh, the pool's got warmer now. Okay. And with you, I'm not I gonna am. Lie, I am going to cut all of this out. Why? Because it's just. Wait, no, this is a good analogy because with you, now I am drowning. Okay. So personality <sighs> does matter. Yeah. But if you had to pick one, which would it be? Looks, because that's the first thing you see. I think what you're trying to say is, it doesn't matter what you look like, it's whether you're attracted to someone. Yeah, because if there's no attraction... Because at the end of the day, like, everyone's attracted... Like, I could be attracted to a guy that, like, my friends couldn't be... You know, everyone's attracted to different people, do you know what I mean? Like, for example, like, I'm attracted to this Luxier bottle, because it's really nice. Right, okay. How do boys feel when a girl discusses starting a family and getting married in the early stages of a relationship? Scared, run away, call 999. No. And depends on personal. Like for me, I've not put a timestamp on it. No, but I haven't either. So, discussing it, I'd just discuss it. Because my answer is always the same. Yeah, I want it in the future. I think it has to be the right person, doesn't it? I think it depends on the person. Yes. So like if I came up to you and started talking about it, you wouldn't be like... I'd be like, yeah. So it depends on the person that but you're with. in like before, have you ever had a girl like talk about it with you and like... No. Never? No. Really? Oh! Is that bad? No, it's not. To be fair, I don't think I've ever talked to another guy about it either. But Thinking about it though, we have been together since... Quite an early Since age. I was 10 years old. Quite an early age. Anyway, moving on. Is that a hint that you want in a ring soon? Yeah, I am actually. Taking Hello, 999. She wants a ring. No, don't ring. Don't go Siri on me. No! Why did that happen? I didn't even say Siri. Okay, the next question. How do you feel about me having guy friends? I've done this before. Yeah, I think we answered this one in the... Don't care. At all? No. Not even... The singlest Unless bit. they start being weird. If I was spending... <laughs> <laughs> if I was spending like loads of time with this guy friend, would it then become a problem? Only if I... Then we was in like a group scenario and I saw how he acted then. And if it was a bit more... Right. Ish. To put to terms, so say, to Matilda and Ryan. Hello Matilda and Ryan if you're watching this. <laughs> so say me and Ryan were like going ice skating together and bowling. What, without me and Matilda? Yeah. Oh, that's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm absolutely fine with it, don't care. Unless it starts getting weird. Okay, are we ready? I've got girlfriends. Plenty of them, you know. Woohoo! Well, we finished that question now. Oh, yeah, of course, I've not got loads. This is a big question right now. It's a on-topic question. Are you ready? I don't know what that means. Are you ready? Yeah. Blondes or brunettes? Uh, oh, what? In, <laughs> you. in betweens, blonde Look highlights. Look at the top of my hair. Yeah. What is you know, it? You know them girls that have got brown hair with blonde highlights? Right. They're really nice. <laughs> Blink but if you're in before, trouble. Right. <laughs> Before you met me though, like, who would you have been? I with? did prefer blondes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but. Lottie, help! Right, do you prefer my old hair or this hair? At the minute, that hair. Really? Mm. Ah, yay! Don't touch me. How do you know if you found the one? Because you can fart in front of them and do the smelliest <laughs> fart and it doesn't matter. You told me, right, that you knew after a few times seeing, with, like, being with me that I was going to be like, because of the way you act with each other, and did ours you get was nervous? really quick. Yeah, but ours was, ours was really quick to. I have never like from me from my person. I've never had a relationship like ours. Like when we first got together, like we had so much to talk about, so much conversation. Whereas in the past, when I've been talking to guys, like it's been so like slow and like, hey, what are you up to? We met in a party kind of environment. Yeah, we did. And I didn't actually get home until quite early in the morning. And I went to sleep, and then I woke up to a like message from a guy, and it just it just said, "Hey." No, that wasn't me. I said, "Hey, it's Lee." Oh, so yeah. who else did you give your number to? Do you know I actually got quite a few messages after that night? But you know, because you're very comfortable straight away. You're really, really comfortable. And you can you like picture a future with me? Yeah, and I knew because. Sorry, are you alright there? It was something to do with being comfortable. Um, you were really comfy. Right, okay. There was never any silence, that was it. There was never any silence. Or if there was silence, it's it not awkward. It wasn't awkward, awkward so yeah. Oh, excuse me, I was trying to speak there and it wouldn't come out. <laughs> 
How do you know when it's the right time to ask the person you're seeing to be your girlfriend? I think you just know. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not working, you're not going to ask them. Do you wake up one day and think, I think today I want to ask Ellie to be my girlfriend? I mean, you can do, or you can plan it for like a, a moment, a time. A yeah, moment like in something time. In, like romantic. Yeah. Yeah, not like what you did. <laughs> nah. He was messaging while he was on holiday saying, I've got a question to ask you when I get home. No, I didn't. I said, when I get home, I'm going to girlfriend you up because I kept calling you girlfriend material, didn't I? Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> no, I actually do. Cool, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think would be my ideal perfect date? You don't know what's happening with your date. <laughs> okay. I'm painting the picture. Okay. The sun. Is rising right, I'm just letting you know that I, I want this to be a nice, quick, easy video. To okay, edit. okay, okay. And I go like this. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? That was me giving you a piece of paper. I'm not sure why he's quite aggressive, but that was me giving you a piece of paper that okay. said, we're going somewhere today, pack your bags. Okay. Right? And a nice outfit, pack a nice outfit. Would you not get an outfit for me? Oh, I've already done it. Okay. Scrap the last bit, I've already done it. <laughs> And then we're going somewhere, and you've got no idea, we're on this journey, and you're like, whoa, 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 where are we? Then, we get to Paris. Okay. We're outside the Apple Tower, Okay. and there's a table there, with three butlers waiting, like this. I completely zone out. And the we're table Paris, is laid out, right? and we sit down and have a beautiful meal. Okay. And then I get down on one knee, ask you to marry me, and we have uh, babies and live happily ever, ever after. Aww. Is this what's gonna happen for my 21st birthday? No, because it's too soon. Like, your birthday's too soon. Why are we taking this Paris for my birthday? Was that a different boyfriend? No, I've got to check with him. The next question is Do you get jealous when other guys compliment me? Um, depends what they're saying. No, I don't know. Because one. Does it depend? Go on. One, I know that it doesn't matter because I'm just a beast. Someone's not gonna come up to you and compliment you and you're gonna be like, oh yes, thank you, baby, I love you so much and bye bye Lee. If it's a reoccurring thing, then it's a bit like not so much jealous, because again, I'm comfortable with us. But more would you annoying. be jealous if I reacted? Yeah, like reacted in you wanted more. So like if they complimented me and I were like, oh thanks, would you be jealous then? No, because you've said thanks to people before. Okay. But it's if you like sort of asking for more type of thing. Okay. We uh, never go out, so I can't. We can. don't go out, no. Happy uh, relationship. You asked me the question! What is your favourite thing about me? Eyeballs. No. Oh not, no, that's looks. No. That's looks. No, yeah. No, wait, that's looks. Favourite <laughs> thing about you <laughs> is that you're funny. You're funny, you're caring, and like, you look after me. Okay. When I need you to oh, in certain sweet, yeah. aspects of life. Decent, you sound happy about that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Ooh. This is why I didn't want you to answer the question with what you answered it with. What was your first initial physical attraction to me? Eyeballs. I thought you were going to say both. <laughs> I didn't see it. I felt it. <laughs> my eyes then. Yeah, and then I also notice how small your ears are. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of my little ding dongs! Anything you want to ask me? It's just not, that's not part of the video. I know, but you know, I'll worry you. Um, what are we in for tea? <laughs> Come on, oh, Paul, are you ready? Dum, 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 dum. Let <laughs> it pour in your mouth. No, because it'll not end up there, will it? I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this one. I really did, thank you. <laughs> if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe down below. I would love for you to subscribe if you're not already. And also don't forget to head over and what are you doing? That's so rude. No, it's not. You can't even speak. He's rude, gonna show the TikTok. Please head over and follow our socials as well. I'll pop them on the screen. And we're gonna finish this video off with a lovely TikTok presented by Lee. Hey, I'm a presenter as well. Cheers for that, brother. That was a good link. What's that? We've got 30 seconds left. Alright, got ya. <laughs>